Everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Really excited about today's video. We're going to be talking about how to prepare for an electrical exam. What if I told you that I knew the exact day that you were going to get your electrical license? No matter where you are, what continent you're on, I can tell you the day that you're going to get your license, your certification, and get to that next level. And it's going to be the day that you deserve it. Life is designed to give you what you deserve, not necessarily what you need. So today we're going to talk about how to prepare for an electrical exam. We're going to be talking about the 10 days leading up to the electrical exam. Now prior to that, you should have put in all the work that is leading you to being within 10 days of your exam. So you're working on electricalexamcoach.com. You've taken the free version. You've went on and you've gotten serious and you've taken now you're taking the paid version. And you're grinding hard. Now the 10 days leading up to it, this is what you're going to do if you want your license. You are going to pay at some point. So just pay now because if you don't put in the work now, you're going to have to put it in before you get it. One of the great sayings I heard recently was you can, it was John Maxwell and it was his father that told him, he said, you can pay now and compound your play later, or you can play now and you can compound your pay later. You're going to pay. When are you going to pay and how much are you going to pay? So let's go ahead and pay this on the front end. That way you can play later, be on that next level, get that license. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So the 10 days leading up to your exam, if you're really wanting to go get it, you are going to shut everything off. You're going to shut off the TV. You're going to shut off Hulu. You're going to shut off Netflix. You're going to shut off all, I turn off all reading, everything. I laser focus any free time that I have on testing. Leading up to that, you need to get all of your testing material, your books, your calculator, pens, pencil, whatever it takes for you to have an, a, you know, a prepping session, you need to get it all in one place. You need to put it in a backpack, on a shelf, somewhere. Because what you don't want to be doing is being exhausted coming home from work. You just worked eight, you just worked 10 hours, you got an hour to study before dinner. Oh, gal, where's my book at? Hey, honey, where's my pencils at? And you're looking for everything. By the time you do that, it's dinner time. Next thing you know, you know, you got to put the kids down. So here's the deal. Get everything that you need to prepare in one place, whether it's in a backpack, whatever. Then leading up to that, you shut everything off the 10 days prior and you're grinding, grinding, grinding. You're practice testing at this point primarily. You should be practice testing over and over. If you've taken the electrical exam coach program, you need to be working in the ECC testing center, going back over the 10 week program taking all of those practice tests. So you're working, you're working, you're grinding. Now as we start getting closer, we start getting three days prior, you are laser focused. I mean, if you haven't already shut everything off, you've got a laser focus on getting your license and now you're only working on your problem areas. So you're working on your calculations if that's your problem area. You're working on your pipe fill if that's your problem area. You're honing in and just shutting everything out. It's all about using all of your, listen, you can accomplish anything that you wanna accomplish if you will just focus. If you will laser focus on one thing, I promise you, you can get it. So you're laser focused on getting your exam. Let's talk about the night before. So the night before you take your exam, you're going to want to make sure you get a good night's sleep. Don't get yourself all jacked up on coffee, Red Bull, whatever the night before. Make sure you eat a normal dinner. Don't do anything out of the ordinary. Just you know, try to keep it as manila as possible. When you set up your exam, so let's say you get to choose the time. Let's say they have a 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and a 3 o'clock. Don't choose a time that you're not you know, at your cognitive best. If you're sharp in the morning, do it at 9 o'clock. If you're sharp at 11, do it at 11 or 3, respectively. So it's all about setting yourself up to win. Now, the night before the exam, I don't do any studying at all. Some people like to study right up to the minute, and I have in the past, but I've learned over time, once you put in the work, once you deserve it, get yourself clear, get your mind focused, be ready for the test. So the morning of the test, make sure you eat some kind of breakfast. If you're not a breakfast person at all, I get it. I'm not going to force it on you, but you need to be at your best. If you're taking one of these longer exams, many of them, like the four hour exams, many of them will let you take in a snack. They won't let you take it into the room, but they'll let you bring it out to your locker or whatever place they have designated. So bring yourself a snack because when I took my uh, master's exam, the equivalent in our state, I had to go out and have a snack and, you know, have, you know, just, just kind of a mental refresh. With that being said, make sure you eat. When you get there, don't be stressed. Don't be worried. They're most likely going to shake you down like you're going to visit somebody at prison. They're going to check your pockets, make you lift your hat, take your stuff off. You're not allowed to take your phone in. When you get in there, don't stress. It's just a test. 
you have put in the work to deserve your license. Does that make sense? You've done the things that it took to deserve it. Just do the stuff, and that's what you've done. So when you get to this point, if you put in the work, the previous work, you've done the 10 days leading up to it, you've got yourself ready, you deserve your license, just go in and go get it. Now, nerves may get you the first time, or you might get tripped up on moving through the code book. It doesn't matter how many times it takes you to get your license. The only thing that matters is that you don't stop. Listen to me, that license is already yours. You're just waiting to go get it. As long as you don't quit, but the moment you quit, you've lost. So I am the Electrical Code Coach. I hope that this helped you a little bit. If you wanna drop some of your test taking tips down in the comments below, that would be great. If you could share this video with someone today, if you think it would add value to them, because my bargain is, is that I'll add a little bit of value to you and you'll turn around and add value to others. I am the Electrical Code Coach. And if there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.